Wagner wants. Okay, so that's my Drake L4B. It's completely removed from the uh, power supply. And just to make certain, I've put a jumper from uh, the chassis to the top of the plate choke. So now I'm going to remove the two tubes. Um, I've already loosened the set screw on the plate caps, so I just need to uh, uh, loosen the uh, parasitic chokes and then remove the chimneys and the tubes. So let's do that next. All right, so these are plate caps, parasitic chokes, plate choke, um, blocking capacitors. Let's take those out of the way. And next I'm going to remove the two chimneys. It's a pretty tight space for the chimneys. So oh, that's a uh, chimney. Put it where it can't get broken because they're hard to come by. Okay, the other chimney. Uh, one of the important things about this chimney is the top is curved in, so when air is blown through the chimney, it's forced towards the plate cap on the uh, on the tube. All right, now removing the tubes, I don't want to pull them by the plate cap uh, by the top. I don't want to pull them by the top of the tube, so. I'm going to reach underneath and lift from the bottom. And I'm rocking it from side to side as best I can and pulling up. Okay, there's one tube. They're a beautiful tube. They really are. They're very pretty and powerful looking. All right, that's one out. And the second one out. Again, it's a an old iMac tube. Um, they're not original to the amplifier, but they've been in there for a long time. How many years? I don't remember. Okay, uh, that's the box with the Penta tube. Um, it's a huge box. Oh. It's got a date code and um, serial number. All right, this may go out of focus because I'm kind of close to the camera, but it's the easiest way for me to do this. All right, it looks like um, all right we'll look at that in a minute so one gigantic box <laughs> to contain a tube much bigger it's twice the size of uh, boxes that are normally used Oh, I'll say. This is an expensive box for sure. All right. Um, normally, I wouldn't show opening something like this, but this is different. Uh, gigantic piece of foam, and the tube is down there. I'm going to have to pick up the tube. Um, and try to avoid the area where there's a lettering effect. Um,
and avoid handling the glass. Um, you can see it's a um, code date of 2436, I think. 3500ZG. And again, a really attractive uh, plate. So let's put it into the socket. Now the way to figure that out is um, there are pins, but there's one pin that's always kind of out on its own. So we're going to use that to locate uh, where to put the tube in the socket. That is one big box. Get that out of the way. Now the one pin is furthest I'm trying to avoid putting any pressure on the plate cap on the tube. Uh, Alright, I'm going to get the other tube out. Uh, get this box out of the way. Again, it's a the thickness of... Anyway. Kind of, kind of different. I'm definitely going to keep the boxes. Um, they're important to. If I ever have to ship, if I were to sell the amp, I'd want to use those boxes, uh, these boxes, to uh, ship the tube separately. All right, going to get the other tube and put it in. And again, orientation of that one pin is towards me. Okay, again, a really neat looking tube. Looks like that's um, some kind of ceramic. There's the one pin that's going to be towards me. Alright, that went right in. Um, put the two chimneys in place. All right, so I'm going to finish uh, tightening up the screws and the set screws on the uh, caps and...